The G Skill Ripjaws KM570 gaming keyboard features genuine Cherry MX mechanical switches, customizable per key lighting effects and macro support, full end key rollover, and more. Click the link in the description for more details. Excellent! What's up everybody? If you watch my channel, you know that every month I like to do a build video. I usually start the month by doing a couple parts lists, planning the video out, and then I build the computer, which I'm doing in this video right now, and then I follow it up with some testing and benchmarking numbers. Now, I actually got a little bit behind in November, so we're doing November's build right now, but I'm kind of overlapping it with December's build, and I have some plans for this system coming up as well that have evolved over the past few weeks. So, what I have here is a build in the Corsair 380T. It's a mini ITX system, and although it's not the best possible mini ITX system that I could build like I planned out in November, it is a mini ITX system that I can take on the road and use not just for gaming, but also for video editing, since I'm planning on taking this to CES in Las Vegas in January. This means that down in the description you'll find links to all the parts that I'm using in this system today. I'll also put a PC part picker list for something that I find to be a reasonable in between middle of the road system in this case using many of the same components but with a few things swapped out here and there to make it more reasonable if any of you are actually looking into purchasing a system like this. Lastly I had a couple products from Galax arrived just earlier this week. Uh, Galax formerly known as Galaxy I haven't worked with since I worked at Newegg a few years ago. Uh, you actually can't purchase Galax products from anywhere in the US unless you purchase them directly through the, the Galax web store so I'll post a link to that down in the video's description. And they have their GeForce GTX 1070 EXOC Sniper version, as well as uh, some of their Hall of Fame memory, which uh, looks pretty nice. It's a 16 gig kit, uh, clocked at 3600 megahertz. So there's a couple pretty nice products from Galax. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how well this card performs, their GTX 1070. So I'll be doing some overclocking and testing benchmarking performance on that in the next video, the follow-up to this one. So that's the graphics card and the memory. The case I'm gonna be using today, of course, is the Corsair 380T. It's a little large for a mini ITX case and it's a little bit more on the expensive side, but I like that it has a handle on top, as well as plenty of ventilation, as well as plenty of space in there for not only the parts, but also cable management. The motherboard is going to be the Z170N Wi-Fi from Gigabyte, and this was more of a board that I just had on hand and I know will work. I've already tested this board with overclocking with the 6700K, and it's not as good of an overclocker, although it has the other features I want, which includes an M.2 on the back as well as Wi-Fi integrated. I will have a link in the description uh, for the Asus board that I ended up using for my wife's build that I think might be a better bet if you're planning on doing some serious overclocking, but for my purposes, this one will work just fine. The CPU, of course, is the Intel Core i7 6700K, which I think is going to be the best bet for this size and form factor. Yes, you could go with like the Enthusiast series platform and an LGA 2011-3 option, but I think that's quite overkill for many ITX and more suited for a micro ATX or full size ATX build. To keep the CPU cool, I have the Cryo Rig H7. I've used this before. Looks nice, performs well, is very reasonably priced. Uh, and then of course I have power in the form of the EVGA 650 GQ power supply. A very solid 80 plus gold, mostly modular power supply. Some really good deals on this uh, over the Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend, by the way. And then uh, rounding things out with storage, I have plenty of storage, all SSDs in three different configurations. First off, for the operating system, I have a Plexstore M6E. This is an M.2 drive, it's not NVMe, so it's not gonna be as fast as uh, like the new Samsung 960, for example, but it will be faster than a typical SATA connected drive. 256 gig is just fine for my operating system as well as uh, some applications. For a really fast storage array, I have two SanDisk Extreme 2 SSDs. These are both 240 gigs, so I'm gonna put these in RAID 0. That will give me about 480 gigs of usable space, and it will be much faster with the RAID configuration. Finally, I have a single SanDisk Ultra SSD. This is a one terabyte, or 960 at least. And again, this was one that there was a really good deal on just recently over the Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend. Uh, I got another one for $180. So those are all the parts I'm using. Let us move on to ye old build mod. Montage, brought to you by the power of editing.
So there it is guys, and I must say, I am very happy with how this build turned out. It is uh, not light, I would say, but I can lift it up for transportation. Uh, and then I like the look of it overall. I like how the uh, LEDs on the Galax graphics card kind of peek through here. The edge lit LEDs around the edge of it, as well as the LEDs in the fans. I got a white LED on the fan in the front for the intake as well that lights up. So it gives you sort of the illusion of like some hidden power within the smoky glass windows and the and the dust filtration that they have up here. It's really quiet right out of the, you know, with doing nothing. I've, I've done nothing other than set the fan controller to the lowest speed. Uh, and I also wanna say it's very nice to have a fan controller built in there since many ITX boards often are really slim on uh, fan headers. Uh, so the fan controller allows you to do three speed fan control for either PWM or three pin voltage control fans. Also quite nice. So all that's left now is to move on to some testing. I'm going to be loading uh, Windows 10 onto this, doing some performance metrics. I'll do some games and I think I'll do some video editing as well. If you guys have any comments or suggestions for me for what you'd like to see tested on this system, leave them in the comments section down below. Thank you of course for watching this video as always and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Comments are always welcome. Also down there is links to my store where you can buy shirts, mugs, and pint glasses. So thanks again for watching as always guys and we'll see you in the next video.